You may have seen this expression from your dog. Quimby, Big B. Quimby, Big B. We all know and love that pose, that quizzical head tilting pose. But what does it mean when your dog tilts his head? Are they trying to soak in everything that we're saying? Or is it more biological? Let's dive a bit deeper into understanding what they're really telling us. Dogs tilt their head due to practical purpose, kind of like being able to see. Now I'm sure that you have either seen the movie or else you've heard of the movie, Disney's Shaggy the Dog. You know about that old English sheep dog with the big poofy fur, with with the fur that comes over the eyes and you can't see the eyes? Well, how do they figure out where they're going? They do that by moving. When they walk and trot and run, the wind gently blows the fur past their eyes so they can see a bit. When they're standing still and they hear a sound, they tilt their head, kind of in the same way that the dog moves around when the fur is covering their eyes. See, now notice how Yeti's ears are pointy. They're cup-shaped like this. It means that it's difficult for them to hear from behind them, right? So they tilt their ears to the back so they can kind of hear, just like how when you tell them something that they can't really figure out, or what we think they can't figure out, they tilt their head side to side because they're trying to gain a closer perspective of what we're telling them. See, and as I'm talking, Yeti's ears are kind of moving around a bit. Quimby, Big B. Quimby, Big B. Now notice how our scents work together. We can see, we can hear, we can touch, we can feel. Dogs are no different. They also need to see what they're hearing, which is where the old English sheepdog comes into play with the wind blowing through their fur, moving the fur out of their eyes. Kind of like how a dog tilts its head from side to side when you're talking or when they hear a noise. Now even though a dog has a wider range of hearing, their hearing is rather selective because of the, the shape of their ear. Dogs have ear flaps which limit their directional sense of sound. So they have to be right in front of that sound in order to clearly hear it, which is why the dog's ear constantly moves. Like right now, Yeti has one ear facing forward and the other ear is facing back because he hears noises out our window He's listening to those noises. Meanwhile, he's listening to me talk. And then when I started crunching on the bag, he was tilted directly toward the bag of his treats. The ear flaps help determine the direction of the sound. Like for example, when I'm talking to Yeti, his ears are pointed right at me, straight up. If he hears something off in the distance, his ear will slide off to the side. I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm trying to be like Yeti's ears moving around. And then he'll also turn his head toward the, the sound and he'll move the ears around. Dogs perk their ears, they tilt their head, so they can get that best cupping of the sound effect. Now when we're not filming, of course, Yeti is so listening to every single word that I tell him. Especially when I say his buddies' names, Quimby and Bigby. Yeah, he did the head tilt a little bit because Yeti loves those guys and he wants to play with them all the time. He's trying to soak in my sound frequency. Am I excited, calm, relaxed? Am I rushed, alarmed, angry, quick? He's trying to gather and focus in on all the information. In his way, he's trying to understand me. When Yeti was a puppy, he sat there and tilted his head all the time, trying to soak in every single word I was saying, trying to understand every word I was saying. His head tilt had different directions, different speeds. The ears would tilt too just depending on where the sound was coming from. He had different facial expressions. Sometimes he would bump his head out, other times he'd move his head back, and sometimes the tip of his tongue would hang out of his closed mouth. Now my first Sammy, Chewy, used to talk to me in a different way. He would howl, yodel, do like almost like people type sentences, only in barking tones. He never tilted his head, although he could understand everything that I said. Yeti tilts his head all the time. Depending on how he tilts his head, depends on how he's trying to say what he wants to say or listen to what he wants to listen to. Yet he has different facial expressions, different eye movements. My words cause different reactions in Yeti just depending on what I'm saying and how I'm saying it. Yeti and I can have full conversations. I'll talk, Yeti will tilt his head side to side, trying to soak in everything I'm saying. He'll be quiet and listen to me intensely. It's really great when you just need someone to sit there and listen because a dog is your best friend for that. By doing that head tilting thing with me, his full expression on me, 
he's letting me know that he cares and he's concentrating on me kind of like when a human nods at your conversation you know you'll be talking and a human will sit there and nod and, and say, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, keep going, yeah, mm-hmm. That's kind of like what a dog does when the dog sits there and listens intensely at you and tilts his head side to side. It's kind of like his, oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When it's Yeti's turn to talk, oh goodness, does he ever talk. He howls, yodels, barks. He yips at me, brings his toy. He looks up at his treats, looks up at his toys, because I keep his toys up on our fireplace when he's not playing with them, he lets me know whenever he wants to play that mom, it's time to play with me. And when he has to go outside, he'll walk up to his leash and he'll stick his nose on his leash and then look up at me and bark. Now going back to the old English sheepdog, the head tilting also allows your dog to pick up those facial expressions, the verbal cues, our vocal expressions, our facial cues. Do we say good boy or are we calm or excited? Now because the Old English Sheepdog has fur all over their eyes, the head tilting allows their dog to hear. They listen for our vocal expressions, how we tell them good boy, sit down, stay calm, quiet, without him needing to physically move his fur out of his eyes. Now, if your dog is moving its head from side to side without any auditory explanation or auditory stimulation, that might mean that there's something going on deep inside their ear canal. Or it could mean that they hear a sound that we can't hear. Or it could mean he has an ear infection or something got in his ear that's itchy. Now, if the head tilting continues without any auditory stimulation, and this happens over a few hours, to maybe a day or two, give your vet a call. There could be something in the ear canal. Now, if there aren't any health issues going on with your dog, we can all agree that that head tilting thing is just the cutest thing we've ever seen. Encourage that cuteness and provide positive reinforcement so they just keep doing that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one and we'll bark at you next time.